Hello everyone. Here I am again trying to show you how to do things with stuff you find in the trash or recycling and um, reduce your carbon footprint by shopping where I shop. So this red leather jacket which was ripped was in our free uh, area in our building and um, I said to myself, self, I like leather and this beautiful plastique frame came in that same spot at a different time and I thought, well, what can I draw that's long and thin? Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyway, it's a frame that, and I love frames, and I thought, well, here's what I'll do. As you know, I like pens, and I like to display pens, and I like pens where I can get at them easily. And I thought, well, what if I were to do this? Let's say I were to take this red leather jacket, cut it into little bits, and cover this uh, shape. You see, so it's red leather interior. Could be black leather, it could be any other kind of leather, but I have this red leather and I, this gold just seems to suggest glitz. And this is also very thin leather, so I think I can actually wrap it around the back and glue it back here, but I don't think I really need to do that. But anyway, thicker, I mean thinner leather would work better for this project than thick leather. Anyway, so here's my plan. I'm going to take three, three uh, pieces of leather and I'm going to glue them Four pieces. I think I need four pieces of leather. All I need is four pieces of leather. That's all I need. And this ashtray. I quite often will go through that line from The Jerk or The Idiot or whatever that movie was called. That's all I need. Just four pieces of leather and this ashtray. So let's pretend these are the four pieces of leather. And let's pretend I glue, they're upside down, to make sure I do it correctly. And I glue them down and re-screw the back into the frame. And now I've got, when these are tight, I have a spot, pockets for, oh, I don't know, three, six, you know, nine or ten pens, or twelve. And I can, you know, have them, I can arrange them like a bouquet. Maybe they'll be, for God's sake, maybe I'll use desk pens. Put a green one here. Not a green one. Look at that. Can we get farther away? Imagine it be vertical displayed on the wall on either side of my desk. Do I have a wall on either side of my desk? Who even knows? But anyway, that's the plan because I do like even opening a drawer to get to a pen. Can we aim? Thank you. Even opening a drawer to get to a pen sometimes is just too much for me. Just way too much. Too much work. I am one lazy fuck. So anyway, that's the plan. So I'm going to go downstairs where my hot glue is located and I'm going to cuff these so that you'll see this little... I'm not going to... they're not going to be used necessarily to clip on because I sort of want to show the the cap and the 
barrel color. I mean, these aren't going to be ne for 51s necessarily. They can be for other things. Now, one of the things I could do, like let's say these are all black, and I have one red one, and I put the red one right here in the middle of the black, and I the, the pens that have red ink go in there. So I'll know even even without checking under the hood. Oh, that's the red ink. I need that to balance my checkbook, my debits. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, any frame that you find at Target or at Home Goods or the Salvation Army or Goodwill or wherever you go, wherever you shop, or the side of the road. There's lots of people throwing things away, and a frame, especially a frame that's deep, like this one is, you can, you know, the pen will be protected from uh, the bathroom door slamming against the wall, you know, or whatever you might have slamming against the wall. So a, a deep frame is kind of nice deeper than the thickness of your thickest pen. And that way, so what, what is the result of this? It's not just for laziness, but you have a beautiful gold frame, or whatever color you want. Could be real gold leaf. Why not? Could be the glitziest thing you have at the ye olde frame shop. And you get a piece of masonite or thin piece of plywood or whatever and you glue or upholstery tack or do whatever you need to do to glue the leather down. It doesn't have to be leather. It could be lace for all I care. In fact, I have a collection. Of course I do. I have a pile of lace and sequiny things and maybe I can have one of the frames filled with that kind of glittery frothy stuff to put my solid gold, glittery, frothy Waterman's in. Wouldn't that be pretty? I heard your eyes rolling. I heard that. You can just, you know, block my channel. You don't have to watch this. You can watch the tractor pull channel if you want. If this is just too, too fey for you. <laughs> but anyway, I really like the idea of having your pens on display. You know, we we look at these things as if it's works of art, so put them in a frame, for God's sake. Let me just show you something else. I'll just show you. Let's go over here. Go over here. A friend of mine is a framer and also a pen collector. And he made this for me and I thought it was really cool. I mean, I, I asked him to make it for me and we came up with this idea to, together, I think, where, can I make this work? There it is. So I took an ad, the he pen. Um, from the Saturday Evening Post, and it's matted. This is a suede finish mat with red scarlet interior to match the beauty of the scarlet tanager. So that's framed, and then at the bottom there's a little window cut out with a hard rubber Parker dual fold, just like that one, except this one has a band on it. That one does not, as you can see. So, but what's interesting about that, I can take this off the wall anytime I want, and on the back there's a little trap door that opens up and I can take the pen out. But it's really a nice way of, dis of displaying some of your favorite pens in a beautiful frame. You can see the suede look there. He also made this one for me. And the back comes out of that 
that was that was for a different um, display. So now we go back here. Now somewhere I have a frame. Where would that be? These are all frames and frames down there and frames in this whole cabinet. And I've got frames. I have lots of frame frames up there. I have one frame that's a metal frame and it's uh, a narrow metal frame that would go on a desk top and it um, a desktop it has a little flappy thing at the bottom that would hold it up and that would be nice too where there you know so it can be on the desk not the wall and that particular frame was really cool because it had little tiny it was all silver colored metal and it had little tiny arrows at each corner pointing in and I thought well that's perfect for a vacuumatic display and I could get gray or black leather to match the grayness of the silver of the um, frame and um, I want to show it to you god damn it where is it I know I've got it here somewhere don't go away talk amongst yourselves here we've got a little group going here I don't know where I don't know where it is but um, I think that it's kind of a neat way to do it uh, to display your pens and one that is slanted with a little flappy thing that goes out to the back you take you take the glass out you throw the glass away you just have this backing you cover it with fabric or leather to make two or three pockets or you could even cover it with um, the elastics that you see in the pen, zippered pen cases. And you'd have these pens on display. You see them. And you can, what's nice about this, it's just like this is your pocket. Easy to remove. What do you think about that idea? Write your answers below. I'll just show you some other things here. This is called foxtail, this color. And that made me draw this drawing of the foxtail. The red foxtail with a little white end. Uh, what is this color called? Igloo. So it shows the igloo on the ice flow drifting into New York Harbor, which is partially submerged. Because of course global warming. Distant horizon this color is called so you have the Lusitania coming into the U whatever it is is uh, field of view. Oh, cute. This is fuzzy duckling. This is lemon punch. Here's the lemon in the boxing ring. Prize winning orchid. So, this is really fun paper to. They're paint swatches, obviously. And they're, the paper is really slick. It actually has paint or silk screen ink or something on it. So the, the, pen, the fountain pen ink doesn't dry. It just sort of sits there. You can smush it around. Uh, what is this? Oh, Yellow Brick Road. 
Here's the Wicked Witch of the Whatever under the house, and here's the Poppy Field, and there's the Witch. Oh, Prom Corsage. It's a little cellophane box. Woven gold. There's one color you have to see here. California Paint Convert. This is called Senior Moment. Write your answers below. On a scale of 1 to 10, how stupid is that? You know, it's like, let's, I know, let's call it Auschwitz Gray. See if anyone buys it. Like, please, use your head, California Paint Company. Glisten green? What is that? That I must, I must have, this must have been before I decided to make those things match the color. So what do you think about this idea? I'm sorry about the Auschwitz gray. It's just... I just wonder where people come up with these ideas, where they think that, how they think that's going to go. It's like the Nova car that they sell in Spain and Mexico. Oh, yeah, I want a no-go car. I'll show you my, my bouquet, my fountain pen Ikebana, later. Bye!